So Valkyrie is probably the most popular of the four champions, kind of running into this in terms of you know, her, her, her standing in the community. And I can kind of, you know, really can see why. A lot of corn characters can become very, a bit of one note, right? They're just like smashy smash, burny burn. Whereas Valkyrie has this really interesting focus on the kind of more honorable side of corn um, and the idea of she's going out there, finding worthy warriors and kind of bringing them up. So she fit really, really well with the new warband mechanics that we talked about for Words of Chaos. This whole idea of, okay, yeah, you find these marauders, they become warriors, they become chosen. The flip side of that, though, is she's less than happy about people who maybe don't live up to those ideals, right? The kind of running theme for a lot of our corn characters is this idea that they can fight multiple battles in a turn, they can, you know, ping pong between different battles. Valkyrie has a kind of fun twist on it where it's if the enemy retreats, that's when she gets her bonus movement because she's kind of punishing them for you know, having the temerity to retreat from an honourable battle. Again, it's so much having this kind of coin themes, but giving Valkyrie's kind of unique spin on it. The book was a huge inspiration for us to get the base of the character, understand how she, how she behaves, and translate that in her animation. She's a, the true leader of, of her people, uh, a, a fierce warrior, and she strikes fear in her enemy. We made sure to, to have her doing quick movement in her attack animation to show how skillful she is as a warrior. Obviously the cool thing about Valkyrie is she is very corn. She's corn to a T. Uh, so again we looked at how did corn sound and we we're like well where can we improve this? And I think this is another one where I think VFX did a phenomenal job of giving us really exciting visuals so we could push it in a different direction. Like they put a lot of like lightning sizzles in there and that just made um, the job so much easier to do Valkyrie and it was our sound designer Liam Price who did Valkyrie. A really cool recording that Liam did for Valkyrie is he had like a he had a glass bottle, put a microphone in it and he just was rubbing some um, coins at the bottom of it and it gave him this really sort of chimey type things because she has an ability called Demon Shield which is this big glassy ability that appears around her and it comes from her demon shield. We went in glass and we did it and it matched the visuals perfectly. It was really good sound design. But it just wasn't quite corn enough yet because the visuals are purple for this spell and corn's normally red and it's weird but colour does influence the decisions we make. So we were like, let's find how we can make this really corn. So what Liam did was he put a lot of really creepy whispers on it, put some big impacts on the beginning of it, just made it a bit more aggressive and then suddenly we had a corn shield that was really cool. Yeah, so Valkyrie is an absolute melee powerhouse, which is no surprise. Uh, she's, uh, she flies, she's anti-large, she's got all the tools she needs to deal with these kind of big monsters. She's got a couple of really good abilities in uh, the Demon Shield, which grants her a temporary invulnerability. And you've also got the Spear Slampnir, which is kind of like a directed wind attack, which erupts the ground towards her enemies, which is really good for breaking up formations. And the final thing I think really can get a front, uh, shout out is uh, the front end video. I, I really hope when players boot up the game for the first time and they see that new, very fantastic Champions of Chaos background that we've made that was done fantastically by the uh, cinematics team is um, just how unique the sound design is. Like, again, it's number, if you turn the music off and really just listen to the soundscape, I hope it sells the vibe of what this DLC is about. I was really trying that from the first instance that the player boots up the game, this feels like Champions of Chaos. It feels like the tone of Champions of Chaos. It's a new experience. You've got a new content pack. Instantly, it's different. It's really creepy, lots of spooky ghosts. I processed the Chaos War Shrine vocals, made them sound really distant, like they're screaming across a battlefield, and they're just going to play randomly for it because it's self generating and all the sounds kind of build themselves once the game starts. So once you hit play, we don't necessarily know what's going to happen. I've set all the parameters. All these sounds will play some fire, some rock rubble. I don't know when, it's all set to random parameters. So every time you listen to that front end, it should sound different.